five years ago or so, the Public Service Commission conducted service delivery inspections at selected schools in, in the province. The focus of the inspection was to, to monitor <coughs> the uh, learner teacher support material in, in the province, whether uh, schools had received LTSM material from, from the department and whether there were challenges with regards to that. We also did a walk about at, at the schools, you know, looked at the blue sheet facilities, walked on the terrain, etc., etc. And then after, after our inspections, we then had meetings with the principals to take them through our observations and, and uh, to get feedback from them. So at a specific school in, in, in the Mangaung area, I had a meeting with the principal afterwards. And while I was having this meeting with the principal, something caught my, my eye. It was during the school break. And, and I saw a girl, a learner, walking towards the gate, entrance gate of the school. And she was having a chat with a gentleman and there was a transaction taking place there. And my observation was, well, this can only be a drug, drug transaction. So I said to the principal, hey, look what's going on here. There's, there's some serious uh, trading taking place here. And afterwards, I also reported the incident to the uh, general, you would know better than that, mobile subs information reporting desks. Uh, that was the, the, uh, one of those desks that was uh, near to the school. Now, during further inspections at other schools, the BSC was informed that there were older learners who had discipline-related problems. The school's the school principals indicated that older learners often did not attend extra classes and study camps, and they, there was also a problem of drug and alcohol abuse, especially among boy learners. At another secondary school, the principal lamented a high rate of dropout among girls, girl learners, due to a high rate of teenage pregnancy and the use of marijuana by the boy learners. Into another secondary school. And there it was pointed out that there were teenage pregnancy and drug challenges at the school. The school principal indicated